Mm -hmm. uh, just thinking about um, loving my neighbor as myself. Yeah. <laughs> There's none other commandment greater than these two commandments. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, as a father, mm -hmm, I had my tonsils removed. Yeah. And as I remember it, um, I was very little. I was maybe uh, three or four years old. Might have been four or five years old. It was in, uh, we lived on Stampede Pass. Yes. My my dad, yes, worked on the railroad. Mm -hmm. And I was having some problems with tonsillitis. So <laughs> Now, uh, I'm going to want to know every child that has my genetics. Yes. And I want to know all the tonsils that have been removed, yes, or uh, changed, yes, because you decided you were going to choke American citizens. Mm -hmm. Now, there's the possibility, yes, that there could be a whole bunch of little boys and girls mm -hmm. that were made of my genetics, yes, that I need to love them, um, well, as their dad, but more importantly, as their neighbor, yes. See, I have a responsibility as a parent mm -hmm, to make sure that if anybody used my genetics without my knowledge, right, that they get prosecuted and put in prison. Oh, oh, oh. And I adopt all of those that are my children. Mm -hmm. Now, my son, Zachary, yes, he had tubes put in his ears when he was approximately five years old. Yes. And I think somebody's intentionally torturing my genetics because of their hatred of myself. Ouch! Now, I'm going to love myself today. Okay, Sheriff! I think that my genetic children are being deprived of the medical care that they should be receiving. Yes, because you, de you decided to use my genetics to make a communication system. <clears throat> now, when you really think about it, yes. I'm going to want to know all the tubes in the ears. Mm -hmm. All these little uh, two to five-year-old medical procedures right now. Mm -hmm. Where you would say as a parent. <coughs> Sheriff. That we're going to make little boys and girls so that we can hide mm -hmm. what we've been doing. Poop. Now, for those that that might know, yes, mm -hmm. I'm not talking about my teenage sons. Yes, Benjamin, he's, well, he's going to be nine probably in September. Yes, I'm talking about the use of my genetics to make any little boy or girl. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now, when I go through the birth certificates for the last 10 years in Clallam County, yes, uh-huh. Any undocumented births that you thought, well, we'll just make little children out of the genetics of the citizens. Yes. And then we'll have them be on the citizens so that we can control. Yes. We can make them angry during court hearings. Ouch. We can surveillance them without any knowledge that they don't know that we put a little boy or girl on them. Mm -hmm. So we can see through their eyes. We can know what they think. Ouch. Now, I'm going to want all of my kids today. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to want complete medical examinations of every one of them. Yes. And if they have any adenoids. Yes. Or tonsillitis. Yes. Or they have any problems with their ears. Right. I'm going to want to sue this state and every state of the United States right now. Because you really don't. You don't love your neighbor as yourself, do you there? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So your thought was, well, we just have to do what we're doing so we can surveillance them so that we can be on them. Mm -hmm. and then you made up this bullshit about making movies right now. Mm -hmm. Now, I would appreciate it. Yes. If I could love my neighbor as myself. Yes. See, if I was, um, let's say, a four-year-old little boy <laughs> and they found out about eight o'clock at night, I like to go into my room and watch TV. Yes. And uh, eat Cheerios. Yes, she does. I'm like, well, I decided to cancel all my appointments tonight. I'm just going to go in the room and watch television and eat Cheerios. And I found a whole bunch of 